Welcome back into the Sports Source. This segment brought to you by Southeast Termite and Pest Control. The Fall Invaders, they are here, folks. They're getting around your house. They want in. Stink bugs, ladybugs, box elder bugs. Temperature's cool. They want a nice warm spot for the winter. I just called safe, uh, Southeast Termite and Pest Control this week and said, let's do the thing again. I did it last year and it was great. I'm telling you, it works. Southeast Termite and Pest Control. Call them about keeping those fall invaders out of your house with one perimeter work of your one perimeter spray of your home. All right. I want to remind you that we do have an overtime segment coming up, SportsSource.tv. Our show posts there by 3 o'clock every single Sunday, but we also have an overtime segment that we take some of your questions. We do some carryover topics from today's show. Follow me at SportsSourceTV, and I'll tell you when it's posted at SportsSource.tv. And then also want to remind you that we'll be with you all this weekend. Huge game for Tennessee with South Carolina coming in. Uh, we'll be on the pigskin panel on 990 and 99.1 with Mr. Himes at 4 o'clock on Friday. Sports Source kickoff Saturdays at 10.30 a.m. on our friends at Fox 43. And then right back here next Sunday at 11 to talk about what went down <laughs> Tennessee, South Carolina. What went down yesterday was South Carolina pounding Arkansas 48-22. What a great day for South Carolina yeah. to get everything to go right, uh, right before they play Tennessee. <laughs> Chuck, Sterling's already made his pick. I'll tell you what it is in a second, but we'll let you make your prediction. What do you got? Well, I mean, it seems like for the past several years, this game has come down to a field goal in the fourth quarter. Uh, Will Muschamp has yet to lose to Tennessee as a player or as a coach. South Carolina also has the better quarterback. South Carolina by three. Okay. You take South Carolina by three, Chuck does. Sterling, well, he picked Tennessee by seven. All right. So Sterling took Tennessee by seven. Chuck goes South Carolina by three. I got South Carolina by a touchdown. I'm taking South Carolina by seven. Uh, Bob Hodge, what do you got? I'm going to go Tennessee by one. Ooh. Ooh, Bob Hodge taking the volunteers. Okay. Jimmy T Himes. Tennessee by that field goal Chuck's talking about. <laughs> there you go. UT by three. Mike Strange, where are you going? I'm going uh, balls uh, by two. <laughs> that field goal, and Michael Polardi comes out of the crowd and kicks it. <laughs> How, <Yeah>. about <laughs> that? How about that? That's, that's interesting. We got Sterling with seven. In the positive, I'm seven in the negative, and we're the one, two, with three. Him. And Shazan, if he answers this week, I'm sure he'll answer whatever the final score <laughs> was. <laughs> uh, Sunday, we'll break all this down. But here, let's do this quickly. Paul Feinbaum again. These guys make news. They know what they're doing. It's Skip Bayless, it's Colin Cowherd, they're just Clay Travis, Paul Feinbaum. They all just throw things out, and everybody has to respond to them. It's out there on Twitter that uh, if Tennessee looks terrible against South Carolina, Butch Jones may not get a chance against Alabama. What are the odds? Jimmy, you've followed this program forever. Mike Strange, you've followed this program forever. I'll ask you too. What are the odds Butch Jones only has one more game in him if this doesn't go well? I'd say 5%. He'll, regardless of the outcome against South Carolina, I believe he'll coach against Alabama. What do you think, Mike? Just to be different, 10%. But I, I'm, in the same, <laughs> I'm in the same carpool there with Jimmy. I think he'll be the coach against Alabama. Chuck, Bob, you agree? Uh, I'm going to disagree a little bit. I think if South Carolina wins, it looks worse for Butch as far as if it's another 41 to nothing to South Carolina, oh, he's gracious. done. You know, if he loses 28 to 21, eh, he probably comes back for the Alabama game. But no, I do think there is a chance, better than 5%, better than 10%, that, that he would get gone after South Carolina if Chuck, he loses. Chuck, we're basing this, we got about 30 seconds here. We're basing all this on what Tennessee has done in the past and what other schools do. We really don't have an idea. You got a new chancellor, right. you got a new AD that wasn't here before as the AD. Um, so, with that being said, do you have a guess here? Or do you uh, think my guess would be that I think Butch Jones is still the coach at Alabama, but I think the outcome is inedible. You know, there's no changing it. There's, I think it just, you know, you're, if, if you start losing, if you lose badly against South Carolina, you're going to lose badly, you would think, at Alabama. And it's just not, and then how big does the Kentucky game get? And that right. was my pick before the season is and really the key game of the year. We'll go back and check that because I don't remember that. Uh, <laughs> we actually, yeah, we'll check that. This is on. We'll see. Yeah, <laughs> she's on down there. Thank you all for watching. We appreciate it every single week. Thank you very much. We'll see you next week. The Sports Source is brought to you by Fast Frame. Shadow boxes come with a lifetime guarantee.